Right, a quick video to show how to set up tools in Mach 3. Uh, I don't have home switches on this, so I'm going to set up tool 1 as a master tool. Um, all tools will be a reference to that. If you do have home switches, you can use the home switch as your master position, and then all tools set up from that. But anyway, so the first thing we want to do is we want to move the tool to take a light skim on the the face of the cut. So we'll just go a wee bit up yet. Right, reckon about there. Now we'll go to the tool table. Now we'll make sure it's on tool one because that's the tool we're doing. And the Z position is zero. Well, I'll move it up a wee bit actually. Right, I want to start the spindle. Uh, I'll move the Z just a wee bit as you can see and I'll zero. Now I'll jog in on the X and take a, a light skin cut hopefully. Not far enough up. Right, move up on the Z again. Right, that should be enough this time back to the X. Um, right, taking a light skin cut. I'm using the tail stop because of it's sticking out quite far for this wee leaf. Just jog back. To there. Now, if you look there, I want to zero the Z. So that's it. Now I want to take a light cut off on the X. So I'll just jog the X out and jog along the Z. so that I haven't moved the X. Now I'll just clear this swath off. Right, the next job to do is measure the diameter here. I'm just using calipers. Normally I would use mics, but holding the camera, calipers is not easy. So it's 45.18. Now we want to enter that into the DRO here. 45.18, enter. Now that's just the master tool set up, no offsets in the tool table. So the next thing we'll do is we'll put another tool in. Now, I also want to take the tail stock away now, because this part I've got in here is actually something I made up with a big lathe. Right, so what this part does, I'll just turn that. I've got a wee battery with an LED and I just join that together. It just saves a wee bit of hassles. I'll move that up there so it can be seen. Right now, if I jog in on the X, I'll just, right, I want to move up on the Z. Now I'll put up the incremental drag. Now you see the LEDs lit up. I'll just jog back slowly. Now, that's it lit up. Now this we'll call this tool two. So we enter two in there. Now we know that's touching the end, but, but because it's a button tool with six millimeter diameter. The centre is three millimetres off the face. So you see there it's three. So what we want to do is enter into the Z here, the three, enter. And we want to go touch Z. To the table, apply, okay. Now the next thing to do, we'll just jog back on the Z a wee bit again. We'll move out on the X. And then we want to jog along on the Z and now back in on the X. Just 
so that the LED lights as I say you can do similar thing but just by taking skim cuts on the X and right there's the LED light so now we know that was oh dear I forgot what that was the diameter of this I think was 45.18 so we want to put 45.18 in there. Point 18, enter, and we want to touch X. Tool table, apply, OK. So that's tool two set up. Now what we'll do is we'll jog along on the Z again, and we'll change the tool. And we'll put in another tool, and we'll call this tool 3. So here's a part in tool, we'll call that tool 3. Now, just the same idea, jog along on the Z, until the LED lights up, it's about the slow jog. Right, so, because it's a parting tool and it's 2.3mm wide, I actually want the end, this face, to be the zero point. So we know that is 2.3. So we we'll put Z in here as 2.3. Enter. Now, I just almost forgot to change the tool number. I'm not used to the turret on the big lathe and having to call the tools. I forget to do it manually. Now, tool 3. So we we'll put in the 2.3 and we just touch Z. Tool table, apply, OK. Now we'll move out on the X and just jog along on the Z like before and then move in on the X. That's it. And I don't have to change this because it's already at 45.18, so just do touch X, do table, apply, and OK. And that's basically it. Now, if I change the tool numbers here, you'll, you'll see the, the coordinates change up here. If I put in tool 1, enter. If I put in tool 2, two enter. There you go, changed again, right in tool 3, enter. I've actually got the thread and tool set up, right in tool 4, enter. There, and that's it. Simple as that.